this hearing was to address the hurt and pain of our community to, and to find solutions. And we will not let you take our voice away from us. But you don't have to do it by putting a bullseye on the back of Asian Americans across this country, on our grandparents, on our kids. My concern about this hearing is that it seems to want to venture into the policing of rhetoric in a free society, free speech. And so now we're talking about whether talking about China, the Chai Coms, the Chinese Communist Party, whatever phrasing we want to use, and if some people are saying, hey, we think those guys are the bad guys, for whatever reason. And let me just say clearly, I do. I think the Chinese Communist Party running the country of China, I think they're the bad guys. I, I'm not going to be ashamed of saying I oppose the Chai Coms. We shouldn't be worried about having a committee of members of Congress policing our rhetoric. The topic is discrimination and violence against Asian Americans. Some of us seem to be going a little off topic. I'm not sure why. I want to go back to something that Mr. Roy said earlier. Your president and your party and your colleagues can talk about issues with any other country that you want, but you don't have to do it by putting a bullseye on the back of Asian Americans across this country, on our grandparents, on our kids. This hearing was to address the hurt and pain of our community to, and to find solutions, and we will not let you take our voice away from us. We, did, we believe in justice, right? There's old sayings in Texas about, you know, find the, all the rope in Texas and get a tall oak tree. Today, we find that there have been nearly 3,800 anti-Asian hate crimes and incidents in just the year alone. They were stoked by the words of former President Donald Trump, who sought to shift blame and anger away from his own flawed response to the coronavirus. He used racial slurs like Wuhan virus, China plague, and Kung flu, despite the fact that the CDC and the World Health Organization warned not to associate the virus with a specific ethnicity, country, or geographic region due to the stigma it causes. 